So everybody here knows that I like to trade big ass candles. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you why that is and why you should be focusing on these candles as your entries for the tightest possible stop loss and the least amount of drawdown for every single one of your trades. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. So I'm assuming that you guys have seen a majority of the content that I've made on this channel. We look at rejections off of moving averages, we look at rejections off of support and resistance levels, and we look at rejections off of trend lines. If you can get any one of those rejections to line up with each other, like a support and resistance level, as well as a trend line, and a moving average, that is going to be your best bet for an entry. You also know that my favorite way of trading is using a three line strike. Say for example, if the price is going down, then retraces up a bit and we get three bullish candles followed by a big fat rejection candle, that's gonna be my entry point. So today's video, I'm gonna be looking at US 30 and what happened last night and how I would have traded it had I not been on daddy time. Okay, so looking at the chart right now, this is US 30 on a 15 minute time frame. You can see as the price was hitting these moving averages and rejecting off of it, it continued this downtrend. We were in an extremely strong downtrend for over a week and recently we've been climbing back up. Now you guys know my trading strategy. If we are above the 200 period moving average, we're looking for long positions. And if we're below the 200, we are looking for short positions. Now, this is always a risky part of it. When the price does break above after a strong downtrend, you are looking for retests of that 200 before it really continues up and does a full-on trend reversal. Your safest bet when trading big ass candles is these things that are rejecting off of moving averages. You can see the difference between a normal size candle and a big ass candle. The big ass candles are really, really powerful. They are momentum shifting moves. Not only did you get a small three line strike right here, but this big momentum push down, breaking this previous low that it had just made is significant in of itself. And you can see what happened to the price after that big momentum move. It just started to decay and go all the way down. What I want you guys to really keep in mind though, is to avoid these big ass candles. These big candles are counter trend trades. When the price is going this strong downwards, you do not take these as buy opportunities. You primarily want to focus on the big candles going in the direction of the trend. If you do, however, really need to counter trend trade, I want you guys to draw a trend line on that current trend. Once the price action has broken that trend and then you get a big ass candle, that is an okay entry for scalping in between moving averages using my scalping strategy. But what I'd really like to focus on in this video is all of the chatter that happened in the Discord group last night. We have multiple channels set up for indices, for Forex, for crypto, and the indice channel last night was going absolutely crazy. So I needed to make this video because of that chat. As you can see here, we have three moving averages up. They're all smooth moving averages. They're a part of the free indicator that we created for this channel and for our Discord group. It's the 21, the 50, and the 200. Now you can clearly see this trend line was easily broken with these huge momentum candles. At that point, you're actually looking for the price to respect any one of these moving averages averages. And because that momentum shift was so strong, it did not respect them. It just kept breaking through them. You really don't want to focus on getting in too early because all the moving averages are still going up. You want to wait for these moving averages to start arcing. Once they start arcing, that's when the momentum starts to lose and shift to the downside. But again, because we are still in an uptrend, meaning that we are above the 200 period moving average, you don't want to make your take profit lower than that 200 period moving average, even if it's previous support and resistance levels. So I kept seeing these big fat momentum candles to the downside. Then I started to see the moving averages begin to arc. I figured this was the last Last rejection that we would have on the 200. And this is about the point where I started watching US 30 and seeing what it was doing. For me, that was 6.30 p.m. 
as the price came back up, I actually had an alert set right here to see what would happen if it crossed the 50 again. The reason I did this is because we didn't touch the 200 and I was like, I think we're gonna try and test it again. So sure enough, the price went up, my alert was hit, and then I watched this one candle be formed in 15 minutes. And this is a perfect example of a three line strike. We're in a short term downtrend, we came up to trap some traders, and then got this big, fat, bearish engulfing candle while the moving averages are starting to slope down, and I knew that it would come to this price right here. So had you just waited for this three-line strike to form, gotten in, and then had your entry set at the close of that candle with a stop loss literally cents above the previous high right there, targeting the 200 period moving average, in 15 minutes, you could have had a 52-point move on US 30, and depending Depending on your lot size, that is a massive amount of money. For example, on my broker, contract sizes are 100. So this would have been a $52 profitable trade on a 0 0.01. And on a 0 0.10, it would have been $520. And on a one lot trade, it would have been $5,200 in 15 minutes, just from waiting for a big ass candle and a rejection off of a moving average. This is one of the safer ways to bet against the current trend is waiting for those moving averages to swoop. Now, what I'd like to do is show you the rest of this indicator to show you how it will actually help you identify these three line strikes and these big engulfing candles. Right now, I have most of the settings turned off on this indicator, just showing you the three basic moving averages that I like to use, the 21, the 50, and the 200. But when I go into the settings and turn on the three line strike indicator, as well as the big ass candles indicator, you can now see these little arrows above each one of these candles. With the simple engulfing candle indication, you just get a singular arrow, meaning that this candle is bigger and engulfed the entire previous candle. Now with a three line strike, which is a more significant indication of the move, it waits for three concurrent candles and then an opposite engulfing candle. That's when you get a double arrow and it says 3s bear whether it's bearish or bullish so at this point you actually could have used this one as an entry because the moving averages were starting to slope down i would have been hesitant however because that stopped right at a moving average whereas this one the moving averages kept sloping down we had just barely missed the 200 period moving average and i had a feeling that most people would have their stop losses on a long position just below that candle and sure enough, the market pushed down extremely hard with these two massive engulfing candles, a three line strike off of a moving average to test and get back down to that 200, hitting everybody's way too tight stop loss right here. Now, I know a few of you guys were actually targeting a previous level of support and resistance, and I wanna show you that really quickly. If we take this out to the hourly and actually draw our support and resistance lines on here, you could see we had a rejection here a rejection here so these areas were very crucial so once we had broken that previous trend the price started to come down and this was a lot of people's take profit level but that is why I really like to keep my moving averages up on the screen to see exactly where that price is rejecting whether it's actually going to go to a level of support and resistance or it's going to reject off of a moving average. And you can see we are starting to break the trend moving up towards this 200 period on the one hour chart. And jumping back onto the 15, the reason it didn't get back down to this level of previous support is because it was boosted up by the 200 period moving average. This is why having the knowledge of support and resistance levels is extremely important to get the direction that you want to enter in, but using the moving averages and these indicators for a three line strike or an engulfing candle, it's going to help you scalp better. It's going to help you get better entries. It's going to give you more confluence to know that your entry was correct and to keep your stop loss tighter than you normally would above previous highs. When you're doing this right, you can keep your stop loss at the ass end of that candle. So like I mentioned earlier, the indicator that I'm using is free. It was created by somebody in our Discord group and we are offering it to everybody for free. The links for this indicator on TradingView are in the description. No membership, no nothing. Just take them, use them, and be successful at trading. I don't want your money. You watching these videos is enough for me.
And if you would like a full breakdown of how this indicator works and the other things that come along with it, check out this video right here. And if you guys got some value out of this video and you like the way that I teach, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking this button right here. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna do a rap. <clears throat> if I would've known that tonight was ladies night, I would've stopped and swabbed my balls with the baby wipe in the van. Hold your sorry little life in my hand. Watch me toss it in the sky and swing right for the stands. Battling me's like trying to ride your bike in the sand.